Hello, we've had a couple requests for a little bit more info going on on the striker. So uh, first thing we'll do is we'll show a little bit output. Um, we'll show you FM first of all, just do a dead key uh, or just a key up on FM since uh, we won't have any forward modulation swing. And right around 42 watts or so. AM will key up and then uh, do a little audio. Audio one, two, three, one, two, three. Check, check, check. Hello. Okay, showing up right around 80 watts. And we'll flip over to lower sideband. Audio one, two, three, one, two, three. Hello. Check, check, check. Audio. Okay, so uh, right about uh, 80 watts as well on sideband. Um, Next part of the video here right after this will be uh, some transmitted audio. We were uh, about 10 miles away from the base, but uh, it's a little bit loud, so it did vibrate the uh, speaker a little bit on the camera. So you will get a little bit of high-end pinching that you'll hear uh, both uh, for the Striker and the CRE8900 uh, that I compared it with right after. So uh, apologize for the audio quality is not the best uh, on the recording. And the last part of the video you'll see just some uh, DX uh, we're listening to on the Striker uh, AM and lower sideband. This is a single sideband audio test, a single sideband audio test of the Striker 955 HP radio. This is the Striker 955 HP radio. It's approximately seven miles from the receiving base station. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Audio test, approximately 80 watts output. One, two, three, single sideband audio test. This is a single sideband audio test of the CRE8900. This is a single sideband audio test of the CRE8900. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Audio test with the Road Devil D104 noise canceling microphone. One, two, three, one, two, three. Audio test. Hi everyone, this is CBRadioMagazine.com and we're going to show you the Striker 955 HP software. It is very similar in many respects to the software for the CRE8900 and the Alpha Max. There are some small differences though. 
Uh, first of all, you'd install your software, install your drivers, you'd hook up your radio, you'd turn it on, it should discover it, you'd go into program, you can do read from radio, and it'll download all the frequencies that are on the radio, and they will show up in this channel information option. Um, it's got a VFO uh, option here, and then the regular standard frequencies. Um, in there, you can enter and change frequencies. Um, there's uh, the tone control here, which isn't going to be uh, 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 involved uh, in this radio since it doesn't have the board in there. But uh, anyway, that's uh, got some different options you can set up which Roger Beep to use on which frequency, stuff like that. Options and features, you can go in, turn on your automatic squelch, SWR, DC Protect, Roger Beep. You can actually change the starting display that's on the radio, so it says SR955HP. Um, you can go in here and change it to uh, whatever you want it. You can change the numbers, and so that is uh, alterable. Uh, you can do your timeout typer, uh, timer, uh, fine tune, course clarifier, all these different types of options are available, just like they are on the radio. These are mostly all the same. The ones that aren't on the radio to, to make adjustments to is you can change your SWR protect value. You can put this down low and say if my SWR goes over uh, 2.0, um, stop it from transmitting and the radio from transmitting. Same thing with the voltage. You can say if my voltage uh, you know, goes below 9.5 or goes over uh, 14.8, you know, so you can set it up that way. Um, so that's uh, where you can make those changes, just, just like the CRE8900. Here is the Roger Beep menu. Now this is different than the other uh, radios we've done. In here, you can actually go in and change the tones. There's multiple tone options in here, and uh, the radio comes with five tones. You can go in and you can pick how many times to recycle the tone, you can, I'm guessing that, how many times to repeat it. You can pick the frequency of the tone, anywhere between 400 hertz and up to 25, 50 hertz. You can pick the length in milliseconds, so you can make it a really long tone. See, and here it shows you a description of what it's going to look like. So it's going, man, dit, dit, dit. right? And uh, you can go and add multiple tones, so you can really alter this. And you see I shorten the tone length. Um, so lots of cool stuff you can do there. And you see here the frequency drop down. And if you are into Roger beeps, um, like those guys south of the border, this might be the thing that you'd be into. So uh, that's where that would be. Uh, there's some reset information here, uh, local information, embedded message, stuff like that. So really that's the software. Again, it's uh, fairly simple to use. It's a lot like the CRE software was. Um, the customizable Roger peeps, I did have people ask me about that, and yes, it does uh, look like the option is there to customize those. So that's a quick video on the software for the uh, Stryker SR955HP. Uh,